Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm brunette. I'm actually filming this intro after I already filmed this video. So to not get it confused, I am going to be blonde throughout this video. As you guys know, I am a Depop seller. I am learning as I go. I'm trying to be the best Depop shop as I can be. Because currently, I'm not. I slack in a lot of aspects. And this email that I got from Depop is proof of that. So when you're a top Depop seller, you get this email. Depop shop performance insights of the month of January. Let me tell you before I start. Month of January was hard. I don't know, like people are saying that it's because, you know, it's the new year, people are already spent for the holidays, they don't really have money, the times are hard right now. You know, there's like so many things that people say, but I really don't know. I do look at some Depop sellers, they're selling a lot in a day, so I don't know. I think I just need to step up and get to that next level so I can increase my sales. Anyways, let's talk about this email. Your January performance, 62 listings. Listings meaning how many items I put on my shop versus the highest performing top seller average, 240 listings. Okay, um, and then here it says recommendations. We recommend listing 150 plus items per month. I only have 62. This part. This part, items sold. I sold 52 items versus the highest performing top seller average, 204 items sold. I'm shook. So I did the math, 240 listings in a month. Divide that by four, because there's four weeks in a month. Let me do the math real quick because I'm so bad at math. 60 items they put on their shop each week. You, if you're a Depop seller, you understand. But just listing your items, it takes a lot of time. I spend all day listing like 30 items. 60? That's crazy. So you would have to take like two days out of the week just listing. Now let's do the money side of this calculation. 204 items sold. Let's just say minimum $32. Of course, a price of an item could be a lot more, but let's just say 32. Let's just do the bare minimum. $6,528. This number is also before Depop fees and of course like your profit margin depending on how much you spent on that item that you sold. Divide that by four. Let's see each week, right? $1,632 per week. Slay. So we have a goal of listing 60 items in a week and I'm also gonna give you how much I spent at each thrift store. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Subscribe, not subscribed. Let's get into it. As I was walking into the store, I saw these nighty sandals. I literally have these sandals. These are the actual vintage versions of the ones I have. And they were in my size. They were a little rough. So I ended up not getting these at the end. The first place I like to go to is the lingerie section. Everything was kind of cheap. I feel like lingerie is either cheapy or good quality. There's like no in between. Then I moved on to the dresses. This dress is stunning. The fairy-like bottom, the velvet, everything about this is stunning. Very in season for Valentine's Day. I had to make a TikTok slash Instagram reel video for this dress. It deserved its own video. Then I ran into this vintage fairy dress. It had some cute green sequins on it, which sequins right now is trendy. It had a cross back, just very cute. Okay, now this dress I literally owned. It was my favorite dress. It is so flattering, bodycon fit. I remember I would wear this with Doc Martens and it gave very 90s vibes. Next, we have this early 2000s wet seal baby doll dress. Very princess bell vibes. It had a cute like bow on the back. I loved like the puffy sleeve. Next is this guest bodycon one shoulder dress. It had this cool unique like texture on it that I thought was cool. Now moving on to tops, a buyer always slays. It's giving Valentine's. Then I ran into this silky pink 
cami top, super pretty. The brand is Jones New York. Then I found this cami top. It had like a built-in bra, which is always nice to have. This was just like a cute, simple top. Now here I am just showing you guys some tops that I found along the way. This wet seal top, I just imagine this without this belt. Cute. This crochet dress, are you kidding me? The sleeves, I love everything about this, yes. Now this cardigan, I was not expecting it to fit the way it did. I'll put in a picture. I found this Hello Kitty cami top, but it had a bunch of like pet hair on it. Kinda nasty, so I did not get it. Then moving on to the skirts, I found this cute 90s vintage skirt, but it had a huge stain on it, so I passed. Found this Ralph Lauren sweater. The orange is a little loud for me, but it's still a cool find. Now, the early 2000s It's Our Time off-the-shoulder tops are a 100% yes all the time. I feel like everyone should own one of these. They are such a good fit. This green color I've never seen. Of course, did my TikTok reel at the end. That was it for this trip, and now we're on to the post office. I woke up feeling very slow today. It is so gloomy and dark outside. It literally looks like it's nighttime. So I kind of just want to go into a workout before I hit the thrift today. I don't know. I need something to like boost up my mood or something. Because today also I just feel like so ugly. <laughs> and I haven't done my hair in so long. I've just been putting it in a bun. I think it's because my roots are coming in. So I just feel like when my roots are coming out, it just looks so ugly and like not cute. So I tend to just put my hair in a bun. I feel like also like a bun makes me feel more like clean girl. I'm being so negative today. I don't know why. But I'm just going to put on like very little like makeup, a little concealer, maybe just some blush. So I can just be ready for the day already. So I don't have to come home and like get dressed. You know what I mean? Oh my God. Also, look at the Lululemon sports bra that I thrifted. If you saw my last video, you know I was kind of scared that it wasn't going to fit me and it fits perfect. I am not a heavy makeup girl. I just hate the feeling of like makeup, especially like foundation on my face. Lately, I've been doing this skin tint, but look at my sports bra. Isn't it so cute? I have been mixing blushes. I've been mixing the Rare Beauty in Happy with, this is already, <laughs> look how nasty it looks. The, the Glow Gasm High Blush, Charlotte Tilbury. Everyone already knows this blush. So I'll just like blend this out and then add this on top because this doesn't really give you a color. I feel like it gives you more glow than it does color. Like that. I have not been loving mascara lately i feel like my lashes are not it i did that alex earl from tiktok you know that she did like her mascara routine and she was like squeezing she was squeezing the eyelash curler super hard i did that my lash is missing literally a huge chunk of my lashes fell off so do that at your own risk even if i put on mascara there's like a huge bald spot so I always wipe your lips Ew. My mirror is dirty, but let me show you the OTT. Bra, insane. I love it. My mirror is dirty, like I said, but I'm wearing the Alphalete Amplify leggings. These are worth the hype. If you've been debating because they are pricey, they are worth it. 100%. See, like, I even feel like my body looks ugly. Like, I'm just being so negative. Let's just go to the gym. It is so dark outside. We've been out of pre-workout and creatine. So today we're just gonna have this. What even is this? High volume pump. I don't even know what this is. We're just gonna have that. With water and we're out the door. Okay, I put on this alpha lead hoodie cause it's just one of those days. I honestly, when I got to the gym, I felt like I kind of just 
wanted to keep things at my pace I'm not really trying to push myself too much this is my glute activation warm-up that I always do I use ankle weights that are really old a band that is also very old <laughs> and I use a 20 pound dumbbell I do 12 reps on each leg so what we're doing here is we're just trying to warm up the booty so when I do hip thrust and the other workouts, I really feel it in my glute and not really on my hamstring. I'll also do 10 reps of these and I'll just repeat this process two or three times depending on how you feel. My glutes were awake. I do recommend you already have your weight ready so right after the warm-up you can just jump into the hip thrust i moved on to hip thrust i had forgot so here i am putting my weight after today i'm not using the bench i'm doing something a little lower so this tire thing i am so bad with gym terms if you've always stuck to like the bench i really recommend doing something a little lower it really hits differently on your glute three sets of aiming for 12 reps i believe i ended up just doing 10. now moving on rdls what are these called i am so bad yeah i cannot be a trainer basically like rdls but with the bar first i start off and just get used to like the movement i'm still learning these i'm still trying to perfect my form then i add weight and i added this so i can be higher on the ground so when i go down the weights don't hit the ground then moving on we're doing reverse lunges i'm gonna stand on this weight so i can really get the depth in my glute i find it very important to not like rush your set go really slow going down and really feel the stretch in your bum i just tap my foot on the weight coming up so i can keep that tension i did three sets of 10 reps on each leg after this, I just did the abductor machine and some upper body, and that was my glute day. Today, we are at Texas Thrift. I don't know why, but this book caught my eye. I just thought it would be like a cool coffee table book. It had some cool martinis in it. This book is actually from 2005. Also, as I walked in, I saw this coach bag. It was cute, but I wasn't too sure. It wasn't in the best condition, so I ended up passing. The dresses in this trip. I found so many cute 90s, early 2000s dresses. This Y2K fairy vibe rose dress. This early 2000s Charlotte Russe dress. This also gave me like fairy princess vibes. Strapless embroidered. Another early 2000s dress. This one had a cowled neckline. This halter midi dress with this tulle flower. So pretty. Now this dress, the color was a little too much for me, so I did pass. Now on to midi skirts. I found this early 2000s plaid pinstripe midi dress. Just very unique. I also found this asymmetric polka dot skirt. I found the perfect black mini skirt, Charlotte Russe. I have actually have been wanting one of these for my Depop pictures, so I think I'm gonna keep this one. Now I was passing by, I never find jeans here. They don't have dressing rooms here, but I had a gut feeling that these were gonna fit me. I have actually been needing a new pair. My vintage Levi's that I always wear, have a hole in them i found this crochet top i found these iconic hollister henley tops these for some reason are very popular on depop now onto the tops i'm so happy that they're no longer sweaters here and we now have cami tops i found this vintage cal top so cute this agassi 2 baby doll cami then i found this lingerie top and that was it for this trip. I look horrid. I had a dream. Something was like telling me. I'm not really a dream. Something was telling me to check my emails. I got hit with the Depop tax form. I don't know why I didn't think I was going to get it. So I never really checked my email for it. And now I'm like, um, where do I start? This year, I really need to be ready for next year taxes. So like receipts. Apparently like even like your 
mileage on your car so i recently got this app to track like when i'm going to the post office when i'm going to their store like everything because that can be deducted you know being self-employed is like there's a lot that goes into it i guess but we all learn as we go and i'm definitely learning i'm gonna have to go back through all my sales from day one of last year january 1st and deduct like the depop fees the transaction fees because that cannot be deducted it's, or like basically what's good is that i don't have all the receipts but i have bank statements so so every time i paid at the thrift store every all the poly bags and all the supplies i bought on amazon but i can even do my rent because i this is my office and this is where I take pictures, my rent. I can even do my nails. Even when I dyed my hair, I can put that deducted. My hair, my nails, makeup that I bought. I didn't really buy makeup last year, so that's not really gonna be for me. Just anything that you bought. Even my truck payment, I can put, cause that is what I use for transportation. I'm really gonna have to go back in time and write down everything. So that's cool. I can finally have proof that I make money, right? So, yeah, that's exciting, but a little stressful, a little bit. So, I couldn't go back to sleep. Um, woke up like at 5-ish, and now it's 6. Here is my outfit for this morning. Um, I just wanted comfy, so I have this one shoulder. It could also be off the shoulder like that i really don't know it's just however you want it this i thrifted i love like the puffy sleeve and i just think it's cute and this scarf is also thrifted my mirror is still dirty and i have black lululemons with my guest boots that i also thrifted look what just happened as i was leaving the house can you even see Okay, now our last thrift trip of the week. Start off with skirts, and I found this early 2000s midi skirt. It had this pink pinstripe detail in it, but you can't really see on camera. And it still has tags. Then this mini skirt gave me fairy vibes. And you can never go wrong with a vintage black mini skirt. This skirt has to be one of my favorite finds. The hibiscus, very summer cheetah girl print i'm here for it now we're on our way to the lingerie section i haven't been able to find good lingerie pieces in this thrift store but today i did i found this early 2000s charlotte russe cami really pretty embroidered floral print i found this cami so pretty the pink flowers the back was like mesh stunning that was it and i was like you know i'm good i found some good stuff but what is this juicy couture the iconic terry cloth mini dress this gets me excited for those beach days i was here right when they opened and there was only two other people in this thrift store it was a vibe sequin is in trend right now what was cool is that the sequins are actually flower shaped i've never seen that then here i am awkwardly trying to take a thumbnail picture I found this off the shoulder sweater. Sweaters are dead to me. Then I went into the bathing suit section and I found this early 2000s mini skirt. The fabric really could just be a casual everyday skirt. I found this cute pink baby doll cami and this crochet BB tank top. I had good luck in the dresses last time, but today I only found this rampage cow mini dress. It had a tie around the waist. I was iffy about this. I'm actually glad I got this because it looked flattering on. On to my videos and we're done. So I'm so sad because this top, I'll put in a clip. I wasn't able to get it. I didn't realize it didn't have a tag. And here at this thrift store, if it doesn't have a tag, you can't get it. Which I think it's dumb. Like, call the manager, let's get a price, let's figure it out. But they can't do that. So I have to wait for them to put a price and re-rack it and I might not get it again, so. Let's see how many items I ended up thrifting. I don't think I got 60. We'll just have to find out. First of all, thrifting is expensive. You need to save your money if you wanna go hard on this 
save your money and really invest if you want to upscale it was 44 items that i thrifted this week in total which we didn't hit the 60 but we're trying right that's our goal so now i'm going to add up how much i spent so texas thrift goodwill family thrift that equals to 185 dollars with 32 cents Okay, so that is it for this video. Let me know what kind of content you guys want to see. Just more thrifting or do you guys like this Depop content? I don't know. Just let me know. Comment the cherry emoji. And I'll see you next Tuesday. Mm -hmm.